Aloha fam, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Harley Fat Boy Jr. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, gonna be installing the chin mount onto my new helmet that I'm gonna be rolling out the Sturgis with. I currently have the chin mount on my old helmet, bam bam right here. And I plan on moving my comm system over to this helmet for my trip out to Sturgis. So just gonna go ahead and install the new chin mount that I got for this helmet. Obviously I'll have two helmets to rock, you know, for whatever reason, if I want to use different helmets, I can. Um, definitely think it's wise to have a, a backup helmet just in case anything happens to your your current one or the one that you use most of the time. But uh, super stoked, chinmounts.com, great company, great product. I've been using that one on the old helmet for a few months now. No issues whatsoever. Um, so I got, it really just comes with the actual chin mount, it's a little bit of hardware. It's also got the, what do they call it? The low pro profile buckle mount for GoPro with extensions. So you got your actual mount action, you got the clip, and then you got the, all the accessories to attach to the GoPro screws and all that other stuff. Also came with a safety tether. Won't be using this. I like living on the edge, so discard that. Um, and then obviously the clip they can put in there. I'm stoked because this clip I did not order with the the first one that I got, and this actually you can hear a clip in there. The other one that I had is from GoPro, and you will not hear the clip. Oh, let me take this out real quick. So I actually have to put it on there. And really, that wasn't really a clip, but when I just do that, it comes right off. So, kind of sketchy when I'm riding. So, obviously, it clips in when it's on the helmet. It's clipped down, and I just take a chance every time I go ride. Um, again, no safety tether. So, obviously, I'll be using this clip that came with chin mount, um, with the chin mount moving forward. And then nothing too hard. Um, just gonna wipe down the area, find out where it fits at, remove the 3M tape. Uh, I got my little Harbor Freight heat gun action. Gonna heat this bad boy up a little bit, slap it on there, and let it sit for a day. So um, not rocket science by any means, but definitely wanted to kind of share the experience. I don't know what you guys are using for your mounts, but what I was doing before was just a basic GoPro clip that was kind of, you know, somewhere like here or here, you know, and then it, you'd have all the arms to bring the camera to the front, you know, to the front of the helmet. I did not like having the camera on the side here. Um, if you can see that here or here, I kind of like it in the middle because, you know, you're getting like an even shot. Um, so that's why I went with chin mount and so far so good. So, all right, let's slap this bad boy on there and see what it does. Cool. So you got a little alcohol action here. Let's wipe it down. Just gonna take the clip. Just gonna take the mount. It says chin mounts right on the bottom right here. So kind of give you an idea. Obviously it's not gonna fit upside down, but just gonna slap it in there, right about there. And you still got enough room to open up the ventilation system right here. All right, so got the little alcohol wipe. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this. Um, this is definitely, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I'm not really a fan of install videos because, man, it's a lot trying to capture everything and then talk and do all that stuff. And people always say I got the gift of gab, but I think they're just trying to build me up. So I definitely don't feel that way. Okay, let that sit for a little bit. Let that dry. I'm not gonna put a heat gun to that. Let's just wait a little bit. Then it's time to heat them up. All right, stand by. So while we're waiting, the padding in this bad boy, I thought about getting a new padding for the helmet, which I probably will later on down the line, but it's, it's funny when I put that one on um, compared to putting the new one on, man, night and day, but super stoked. Got the gold mirror visor on here. 
Got the Insta handle and YouTube handle on there. But yeah, if you guys are on Instagram, go check it out. Hit me up. Talk story. Yeah, and it was just, again, two packages. With the buckle, buckle, low profile buckle action with extensions and then the actual mount. Yeah, so here's the safety tether. You won't be using that. And I'm not really concerned with the GoPro going anywhere. Um, even with the magnetic mount action. Ulanzi, check them out. I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, I'll put the link in the description below for the chin mount and some of the other accessories I use. But go check out chinmounts.com, man. Great customer service. Hoping you guys can see this well. All right, let's get it going. 3M tape action. Just going to go ahead and measure twice. All right, a little 3M tape action. Oh, God. Peel that off. There you go. A little heat gun without burning my hand. You kind of like see it getting a little wet, I guess you would say. I think that's good. Oh, yeah. Feel the heat. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Put it on. It's bobsled time. Oh, yeah. It's on there good. All right. I'm just going to hold it down right here. Get on there good. Yeah, looks like it's sealed good. Lined up pretty well. If you guys can see that. But shout out to Chin Mounts, man. I don't know if I've ever shared the story before on a previous video, but... Um, they didn't have this mount when I hit him up. I sent the guy an email and told him what kind of helmet I had. And he was telling me like, hey, you know, we haven't got it fitted for that helmet yet. You know, when it comes out, I'll reach out to you. And I'm like, reach out to me. Like, why would this guy from this company reach back out to me? And sure enough, a couple of months or probably three months later, he sent me an email and was like, hey, you know, it's available you know, blah, blah, blah. So I immediately ordered one um, to test it out and it, it worked great. But man, what you talk about customer service. I don't know how the guy, I don't know how he had me. I don't know if I was like in his calendar or, or how I remembered, but months went by and he sent me an email, let me know that I was in. So, and I'm drawing a blank right now on his name, but um, huge shout out to him, man. So I'll be plugging chin mounts forever. That's what it's all about, man. These these companies that, you know, come out with a killer product and, you know, they're so customer first, customer focused. And um, I think that's what really sets a lot of companies apart from others. Um, it's just their, you know, their dedication to just giving the best customer service. So... Mahalo, sir. Appreciate you. Hope you see this, but thank you so much. That's good. Just going to let that chill there for a little bit. Um, yeah, man. Oh, that's a junk one. Yeah. Come on, GoPro. Put that in here. A little Ulanzi clip. And then, obviously, you got more to work with. You got a couple more accessories here that you can add on, depending on um, where you want the camera exactly, but... I'm thinking this will just, I think this will do. We'll find out in a second. Let me take you off here. Magnetize you on here. Show my pretty face right here. Yeah, buddy. And you're on. And then I just want to make sure one, well, I got the light on here. Sorry, it's kind of bright. Um, one, yep, can close the helmet. Sorry, guys. I could totally have my second camera going on here, but I just want to see what it looks like. Yummy. Still lift my visor. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. But, yeah, that's it. You can either... Pretty sure I'm going to have to add more, but... Um, yeah, put another arm on there, whatever you want to do. You want to bring it out more. 
you can yep so I'd probably bring this out just a little bit and then mess with that so the camera either way the camera's right in front I'll uh to be continued man I'm trying to get this on here but yeah we'll check it out see how it goes see what it looks like let's go all right fam I apologize Ugh. If you got another camera, use it. Come on, big guy. All right, let's screw this on real quick. I mean, how cool is that? Just put that bad boy, put it on there, and twist. Then I'm just gonna slap this here. Put that on right there. And then boom. Depending on how I want to do it, the magnet portion on the Ulanzi does make it come up a little bit higher. But, you know, the camera, these are loose enough to where you can kind of, or you can just do whatever you want to do. If you need to lift up your helmet and whatnot, you can just push the camera out of the way. That's what I do a lot of the times. Um, sometimes my helmet too will get all fogged up and I'll just, boom, open up the lid. Um, not everyone can afford that pin lock action, baby. But yeah, that's it. Got my GoPro 9 right there. Got my GoPro 9 right here. Um, but I love it, man. It's pretty cool. And again, what I love about this is boom, twist and turn, you're done. So yeah, coolio. All right, chin mount is mounted on the new helmet. The new lid is ready to go. Sturge is bound, can't wait. And that's really it. I mean, you guys already see me riding my helmet on my videos. You see me with the ch using the chin mount on my old helmet. But again, shout out to Scorpio. Um, love Scorpion helmets, man. The EXO R420 helmet is an absolute beast. If you guys have never seen it, owned it, tried it on, at least do yourself a favor and go try it on because it'll change your life. Trust me. And a lot of you are probably thinking, dude, a helmet under 200 bucks? No thanks. But trust me, man. The helmet's legit. Great fit, especially with this fat head. Um, and for guys who don't have a neck, I recommend this helmet. But super stoked, got it on there. Again, not rocket science, uh, just a few steps to get it on there. But definitely let the, <laughs> of course I'm messing around with it as I should let it sit and do its thing for 24 hours, but it's on there pretty good. It ain't going anywhere. Um, but yeah, drop some comments. Let me know what you guys are rocking. Um, as far as what you guys are keeping your GoPro equipment on um, when you're motor vlogging. Also, too, let me know what you're rocking as far as like lav mics and stuff like that. I know there's a lot of different lavalier mics out there. Um, I'm using a Purple Panda. I think Truck and Biker, I saw his video. He was going through some stuff. Code Gray was going through some stuff. Um, and they found out what works for them. But, yeah, drop a comment, man. Hit me up. Let me know what you guys are rocking, what your setup is, and, and what, what works for you, what wasn't working in the past. And what you kind of had to do to get to where you are right now. Cause I know it was, it was a tough, even today still, I'm trying to, you know, make sure that my audio is good. And, uh, all I do know is that mic placement is super important. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope everyone's doing well. Sturge is right around the corner. I'm stoked. Um, I'm so excited, but Again, you guys stay safe, ride safe. Uh, another man down, I heard uh, last night here in Portland. Prayers. He, he made it. He's alive, but it's going to be um, a long way back. So recovery, I hear, is going to be pretty brutal. But he's alive. You know, we all need to count our blessings. But guys, stay safe, stay blessed, and let's continue to spread a little, people, because we need it. Fat boy out. Oh,